Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Recap. Now, I was very hesitant about doing this video. But since I did part one, I'm going to go ahead on and do part two. Now, child, y'all can probably hear it in my voice. But Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion part two should have been Real Housewives of Atlanta, Ralph versus Drew. Because that's what it was about. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and write this and I'm going to give it a two. I, matter of fact, no, it don't even deserve a two. I'm going to give it a zero. It was cra like, <laughs> I, I hated it. I really did. I felt like it was very much thrown together and it was just about Ralph and Drew. Now, if y'all was going to do a whole little segment on Ralph and Drew, y'all should have did it like how they did Married to Medicine when Quad and her ex-husband had their little sit down. Do it like that. Then you could have got three parts. But to put them both, put Drew in front of her castmates and put Ralph on the couch like y'all did Kim Zosiak that year was crazy. <laughs> like he was a former housewife and he coming in. No, no. That's crazy. And then I realized none of the husbands were there. But then again, they were never, they weren't really in the season. <sighs> I didn't take notes. I just watched it. Last time I took notes. This time, it, it wasn't nothing to grasp or take in. It was trash. The friends of the show had, like, my girl Moneta barely had a moment. <laughs> she she had, barely had a moment. It was more Courtney versus Drew. The last end, and then you know, the last end of episode part one, I'm gonna say that, and then the part two came, and it was still Courtney versus Drew. And then we mentioned Moneta has an orphanage. Congratulations, Moneta, y'all can exit. I just felt like you know, the season was already a drag, they boasted the reunion, they the the trailer for the reunion, like, it was going to be better than the whole season, and it wasn't. Part one was thrown together. Like, you could tell it was rushed through. Like, y'all just picked and chose y'all favorite little parts. And I think, I want to say Candy even said on her speak on it, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But I want to say she said, like, it was some parts that happened later on that shouldn't even be put in part. Like, it didn't make sense. So... Yeah, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I, and I can't blame the girls. I can't. It, it's production. It's whoever edited that. It, like, y'all made the trailer scene better than the whole season. And then once we got to the reunion, it wasn't even what the trailer was giving. It, it wasn't. So, all in all, <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what to really say about it. Like, the whole Drew and Ralph situation was very awkward. I, I hate that for Drew. I really do. Um, I don't really know exactly who's at fault. You really can't tell. Even if Drew allegedly has something going on with Ty or had it, let her have that moment. She ain't got to tell y'all. And then she's going through all this stuff legally. So she's not going to speak on it. But let me tell you something about certain people. If she did, this is allegedly, if she did get her lick back on Ralph, I don't blame her. But if she did get her lick back, some women get their lick back in silence. In silence. Because I've gotten my lick back plenty of times in silence. And then I act delusional like my heart has just been broken. But I already got my lick back. And if I tell you what my lick was, you'll be hurt more than what you think I'm hurt. So, I mean, if the girl don't want to speak on it, she ain't got to speak on it, especially going through the legal actions that's going on now. But the whole, the way, so the way they made in the trailer made it seem like when Ralph said that whole, you're acting right now, it did come off as Drew was acting. But once it played out, yeah, Ralph, you was, you was wrong. You you were wrong. That girl was hurt. 
And I hated that for her. I really did. I really did. I hated that the whole conversation had to go on in front of everybody instead of giving her the option of, I don't even know if they gave Quad the option. I don't know how that went, but it should have been done like how Quad and I think it, it was Dr. G. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it should have been done like that. It shouldn't have been done in front of everybody. and But Drew with the little shade and throwing the little peach at Ralph because he been waiting on this moment was crazy. Because where you getting all this fruit from, girl? <laughs> and I disliked when Kenya was putting in her two cents and Ralph dismissed it. I didn't like that. Now, it don't matter because he brought up the, well, how long have you been married? How long were y'all married? It don't matter how many years you've been married to somebody. Because people have been married for four... Apparently, y'all was married for a good little minute. And you flipped the switch. So, the years y'all had didn't matter. At least Mark showed his hand quicker. And my girl ain't have to... Even though her, her divorce is lasting longer than her marriage. Still, he showed his hand quicker. And it seemed like once Ralph got on TV, apparently, because Drew was like the last three years. So once he got on TV, that's when all the chaos started. So I really hate that for my girl. Like I said, I it was I just hate it. Like it was so awkward. And then the singing part. Oh my gosh. I'm watching this. I, I watched the unfiltered version. And it's still, like, I don't even know. I didn't watch. Last week, I watched um, the regular TV version and then the unfiltered. This time, I just watched the unfiltered version. I don't know what the regular version had because I don't care to go back and watch. Because it was just, it was very lackluster and very uncomfortable <laughs> and awkward. But the singing part had to be the most awkward Part for me and mind you I'm at home in the comfort of my own bed watching this on my phone on the Peacock app and this been filmed like months ago and I'm uncomfortable watching it <laughs> so <laughs> it was very uncomfortable um but yeah I mean I don't really have much else to say about it I don't Nothing really happened. I mean, oh, they touched bases on the whole Marlo and her nephew situation. I just felt like it was dragged out. Marlo just, she just, I don't know. She was looking for a moment and it just didn't make sense. So, like I said, this reunion sucked. <laughs> it really did. It really sucked. And I, I think it was because of just the way they they pieced it together it was ran through it was rushed and it was just all over the place like how we go from drew singing to ralph to now we all got flutes and finna do a toast and kumbaya my lord it was just crazy but yeah um zero out of ten would not recommend i hope season 16 the sweet 16 of Real Housewives of Atlanta be better because this, this was a mess. Like, I have watched Atlanta from season one all the way up until now. Never missed a season. And this has had, this really was the worst season. The first season was better. The first season was way better. This was a mess. Okay, this was forced drama for what well, I don't even know. It might not even be a forced drama, but the way it was placed on TV was very forced, very repetitive. You know, you couldn't we didn't know what else was happening with other people. Like we like, you know, you I don't know. I, I miss Cynthia. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Cause I this is just trash. <laughs> But y'all let me know in the comments down below. What did you, if you watched it, what did you rate it? How did you feel about it? I honestly felt like they could have kept that. They didn't even have to do a reunion. <laughs> honestly. Um, so, yeah. 
I'm I don't know if I'm gonna be recapping the whole season because the reunion pissed me off. See, part two pissed me off for sure. Part one fell flat, but part two fell flatter. So y'all just <laughs> <laughs> just make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel press that no bell notification button so you'll be notified every time i post a new video <sighs> i will see y'all later we'll talk to y'all later but yeah i'm done talking about real housewives of Atlanta reunion just just you know y'all have a blessed day <laughs>